uh, from Lindy's perspective, uh, what is your view on the current situation in the uh, global market? Yeah, we see that uh, 2010 uh, is going to be a great year for the industry. Uh, the lower prices for solar modules uh, have created uh, a big demand in many, com uh, many countries. Um, uh, we see tremendous growth. Uh, the uh, industry forecasts uh, are uh, being increased um, uh, again and uh, we foresee uh, a corridor, a demand corridor of 11 to 15 gigawatt this year and uh, even more for next year. Uh, saying so, um, some players uh, are doing better than others, uh, but overall um, uh, Linde uh, is benefiting from, um, uh, from investments and from uh, contracts signed in recent years. We are growing with our customers at the same time, continuing to sign new projects, new greenfield uh, field investments. Uh, so we also see for Linde uh, as a gas supplier that uh, 2010 will be the best year ever in the solar industry. Well, um, how have uh, the economic climate and the, uh, let's just say, the earlier high-profile announcements of plant closures, you know, uh, affected Lindy? Yeah. Um, yeah, as I said, uh, some, some, are comp some companies are doing better than others. Uh, there have been uh, announcements uh, of uh, insolvencies from companies like uh, Signet or Sunfilm. Others have uh, announced that they will withdraw from thin, fi thin film uh, segment. Uh, Linda has from the very beginning tried to focus our efforts on premium accounts. We believe these are companies that uh, have um, uh, secure uh, sales channels of their modules into the market, that have uh, strong technical capabilities and that have access to the finance. And uh, thanks to this focus, um, uh, we believe that uh, our customer portfolio uh, is better than the average market and uh, the fact that uh, none of our customers uh, have went out uh, is proving this right. Now, um, you know, how does um, Lindy see the future for thin film, especially uh, more for silicon? Uh, yeah, for silicon thin film, we believe on the one hand that the fundamental, fundamental drivers for the market remain intact. Uh, thin film has, it, it has been shown by several players that 10% uh, cell efficiencies uh, on uh, thin film is possible. Uh, thin film has the fundamentally um, lower cost base because it's using much less of silicon material in the film. Um, the equipment is scalable and also there's clearly a market uh, for thin film modules like uh, First Solar is proving. Uh, on the silicon film, thin film side there are some challenges. Uh, for example, uh, companies have to prove that 10% efficiencies is possible on industrial scale at the same time that they can uh, meet their cost targets of less than one dollar per watt and that they can make products that are bankable. Uh, we believe that uh, these challenges can be overcome by leading customers, uh, but um, in the current envi environment there will be uh, losers and winners and uh, we, are, we are trying our best to support the companies on the way uh, to overcome these challenges and uh, to invest in the winners. Now, um, obviously uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people will know Lindy from, uh, from its thin film side. But uh, what is Lindy actually doing in, uh, with crystalline technology? Yeah, also, the crystalline technology offers a wide, has a wide range of applications uh, for gases uh, over, the all, over the whole uh, value chain, starting from uh, polysilicon, where uh, big amounts of um, on-site generated hydrogen are needed. Uh, in the wafering, a lot of argon is needed. Uh, in the crystalline cell manufacturing, uh, specialty gases like silane and ammonia are, uh, are needed for deposition of uh, anti-reflective anti coatings. Uh, and uh, nitrogen is a, is a gas that is used in many applications. Uh, um, so, so crystalline definitely is a key market for us. Uh, Linda is very strong, uh, very well positioned in the key areas where the crystalline companies um, are setting up manufacturing capacities. Uh, we supply the leading companies like uh, Bosch Solar uh, or Solar World in Europe or uh, leading um, Asian companies like um, Suntech, uh, like uh, Trina in China, like Neo Solar in Taiwan. And uh, as these companies grow, are growing, uh, Linda will grow the business with them. Now, what, um, what new products uh, or findings are Lindy uh, presenting here at uh, PVSEC this year? Uh, we made some very good success with our uh, fluorine program. Uh, we've proven and uh, announced last year that uh, fluorine uh, is uh, a cleaning gas that is, uh, uh, that is suitable for the uh, thin film 
uh, process. Uh, last year the focus has been on, on the proof of concept. Uh, this year we have rolled this out to two uh, customers that have adopted our technology, which are Malibu and Mazda. Uh, at the same time we've continued the efforts to uh, improve the processes and uh, we are uh, publishing a paper uh, with findings that um, uh, fluorine is not only working with remote activated plasma but also with in situ plasma uh, which is uh, which means for our, our customers that they can save uh, can achieve savings on the equipment costs and uh, we are also showing uh, a completely uh, a completely new way of plasma of, of, of um, a completely new application of cleaning gases uh, by means of um, uh, thermal activation, uh, which is uh, also reducing equipment costs, but uh, mostly uh, improving the gas utilization and providing our customers uh, with the lowest cost of uh, ownership. So after showing that it's working in general, we, we are putting big efforts and demonstrating that the process um, of, the, of the chamber cleaning can further be improved. What, um, what new developments uh, should we be uh, looking out for from Lindy? Uh, yeah, as I said, uh, we are working on, on the fluorine chamber clean on the thin film side, but also at the same time trying to bring this uh, into the crystalline segment, uh, trying to benefit from the learnings that we had on a thin film. And uh, one of the first step, uh, first logical steps is to uh, use fluorine as a chamber cleaning gas in the crystalline silicon process uh, for silicon nitride uh, chamber cleaning. Uh, but we are also looking at new applications in terms of uh, texturization edge, edge, in terms of uh, salt damage removal, in terms of uh, PSG removal, uh, where fluorine can replace wet chemicals and offer process benefits to the customers. Uh, we are working overall on uh, improving the CO2 footprints of um, gases used by our customers. Uh, there's again a very wide range of applications. Uh, we are working on replacing greenhouse gases in the process. We are working on uh, uh, moving from uh, bulk gas supply to on-site production. We are localizing supply chains uh, to cut out uh, CO2 emissions. And we are working on uh, energy efficiency of our on-site generation plants, which is uh, improving the CO2 footprint. So uh, process efficiency is lowest cost of ownership uh, on the one side and uh, improving CO2 fo footprint and moving ultimately uh, from, from um, uh, crit parity to green parity are the big two focuses uh, of Linda. And I guess, you know, um, a lot of that is still concentrated uh, with respect to thin film, but uh, is there any specific new developments expected uh, from the crystalline side? Yeah, on the crystalline side, uh, besides uh, the efforts uh, on fluorine, uh, we are um, developing uh, new applications and supplying to uh, supplying uh, molecules uh, to new process uh, press processes uh, for example for uh, backside passivation uh, where we are supplying uh, trimethyl aluminium which is uh, a new molecule new application for us as a gas company